So today we're going to be looking at the uh, unboxing of the Canon Rebel T3i. This is the EOS series. Uh, together with this kit is the standard lens, which is the 1855 millimeter. Um, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and unbox them. So in the box, we'll see that it does come with uh, the uh, basically the uh, manual for the Mac, um, as well as the PC, which is located on the rear side of it, um, as well as the instruction manual. Inside of there is the registration card for both Canada and the US, um, right here, and this is the warranty card. You want to ensure that both of these are registered online. In there, as well, is the uh, additional manuals and a little more documentation. This camera is also known as the 600D as well. If you uh, see reference to that, uh, it's also uh, another name that it goes by. In there as well is the um, this is the uh, component cable to uh, USB. That is uh, a, a mini USB, as well as a USB to mini USB. We have the uh, camera strap. the uh, charger, and the charger does have a, sp a spot in there to connect a, uh, a standard cable to. The standard, um, you'll find it in also radios as well. Now one of the unique features about the cable that uh, I, I like compared to other cameras is it plugs directly into the wall and it gives you a nice long cable that you could um, extend from um, from the wall instead of just plugging it right into the socket. And there is also the battery um, that comes with the camera. And obviously the camera and its lens. So I'll go ahead and open that up. Now just to note, if you are interested in this camera, the video that we're shooting is actually being shot with the Canon T3i, uh, a second camera. So you'll see the video quality on that. So we have here is the body of the T3i. Um, this here is the detachable um, lens cap that you would uh, attach your lens to, which is right there. On the side, we have the, um, the mic port that you can attach uh, both mic and uh, headphones to. On this side here, we have the ports for, uh, this is going to be your audio out, as well as HDMI. On the other side, just flip it around, we have here the slot for the SD card. On the back side, we have the slot here for the uh, battery itself, as well as the threaded hole if you want to put it onto a tripod. On the back side, we see here the viewfinder, as well as additional uh, uh, menu options, such as the menu, the information, uh, the uh, video, as well as the toggle between the, uh, the uh, viewfinder and the LCD, as well as other features here. The LCD um, does flip open, and it does rotate as well. And you can uh, readjust it to fit as such. Now this is uh, specifically available on the uh, on the i series that refers to the uh, T2i as well as the T3i. The T3 itself does not feature uh, the um, the moving LCD screen. It is uh, fully affixed into the, uh, the slot. Actually, the T2i doesn't uh, feature that as well. Uh, my, my mistake there. On the top side, we have uh, the built-in flash, which uh, does come up uh, when that option is selected. And uh, we have the off and on switch, as well as the, um, the, uh, the rotator that um, you can switch between the different modes. The convenient uh, shutter button, as well as the different options uh, for um, using the camera. The 
uh, zoom in and zoom out is located on the top side over here, uh, right on the corner, just as uh, typical cameras are located. Um, included in there is also the um, 1855 lens. I'll go ahead and unbox that as well. This lens here is the um, EFS 1855mm. Um, it uh, has a cap on the back side and a cap on the front side um, that is, uh, detaches like so. And uh, we'll go ahead and just attach it to this camera so you can see what it looks like. So when you're attaching this lens, you want to make sure that it's lined up securely. have it, uh, let's see if I can do this, there we go, and once you have it in there, just rotate it to the left, and it locks in place. You can then uh, adjust your manual focus here, as well as you have the option there for um, manual focus and autofocus, just by switching the toggle on there as well. Same thing applies to the uh, image stabil stabilizer, you have the off and on switch um, on the uh, on the barrel side of the um, of the lens. So that concludes our video for today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the video, please do post it. Um, I will be featuring some reviews of the camera lens as well as the camera. Um, so if you uh, stay tuned, we'll be having those uh, within the next couple of weeks. Thanks again for watching.